Hey guys, welcome to a brand new vid. <laughs> I just can't even. <laughs> She's so not smart. <laughs> just kidding. She is very smart. But she, she walks six feet from the car, like 27 feet from the car because she thinks I'm going to honk the horn. But anyways, welcome into a brand new day and a brand new vlog take a few minutes while we're waiting for Gabby because that's all we do it seems like to explain a little bit more about Finn. Sophie is heartbroken. We weren't even able to video after we dropped Finn off because it just was so sad saying goodbye to him. We kept it as a private moment for us and show them your screensaver. Screensaver forever. Mine is I have a screensaver of Finn too forever. And some people are asking like they want details and and I know so many of you guys loved Finn as much as we loved Finn and so I wanted to tell you guys No, I loved Finn more. Yeah, Sophie loved Finn the most and he loved her the most. But I wanted to let you guys know that if we could have kept Finn, we would have kept Finn. If we had something for Finn to do, we could have we would have kept him. We didn't we knew he was not a school horse. He's not a school horse. I think most of you guys can understand that he's not a school horse, and so he couldn't be a school horse. And we decided not to lease him because we felt like Finn deserved an opportunity to have like a forever home and a forever life. So we did sell him and if God alone had picked the perfect home for him, this is it. Everything that we wanted for him to be in is where he's at. And he has like a girl that that loves him and was like, and will love him. And, and he got nice and dirty for her. Like, and even the girl that, that bought him, the girl that has him, is just so tiny and will never outgrow him. And like, there are just so many amazing things about this match for Finn and, and his new family. And we took all that into consideration. Like, honestly, if God could have picked this himself, which he did, it couldn't have been better. Like, he got really lucky. We got really lucky what happened with Finn, where he went. And we're going to get to watch him. We're going to get to see his career and we're gonna get to see him grow and we're gonna like i oh, maybe we'll even try to video him at shows this year like he's gonna we're gonna see him at shows you guys and we're gonna see him succeed and we're gonna get to still play a part in his life even though it'll be from the outside looking in like it's a perfect situation for finn and i thank god that we found that for him and we could have kept finn and had something for finn to do we would have done that because we love him and the hardest part for me was not that we won't see him when we go to the barn Ugh. but the hardest part for me the hardest part for me is knowing that he's sad and alone and confused and doesn't understand the hardest part for me is knowing he has to make new friends the hardest part for me is knowing like how he must feel but they did explain it all to him because Horses know, like they understand stuff to us. <laughs> Kathy's like, just stop crying. Let's go. All right, we're going. We're going to get grain, and then we're going to see our boys. Grain it is. All right, now that is a job. Carrying that stuff over to the barn, hard. It's really sad not to see Finn, and I can see. The boys are like, who do we pick on now? Just joking. Chino will not walk through a door unless somebody makes them. You have to walk behind them. Even Chino's dirty. Chino's like, oh, I see grass. Somebody said in the comments that their birthday is Chino's birthday. And they're 15. Chino is only 13 right now, he's turning 14 on his birthday. Another thing I forgot to say is that once we finally move, Storm can always be ridden by my grandkids and always be ridden by me or like anybody who comes to ride with us can always ride Storm. Like Storm is a boy that anybody could ride and that's why we still have him. Finn needs a special rider. I've started saving all of our change because Whoa! Oh wow! This is fancy! Like, this is fancy. The girls had the those? best time and with like, this the other day. Those those. So, you oh, guys remember? Don't get the. Don't get the. Don't get A10. Why? Because you've had them before, they suck. 
Beacon. It, uh, this is fancy, you guys. Like, how fancy is that? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh oh. Uh, you, you bought the wrong one, sucker. Uh oh. Yeah, I did. Oops. Wait, I put B1. <sighs> B, there's no B1. Oh. So now push in your regular number. Push in the number that you want. No. Start from the beginning. Okay. See, Gabby's got it. Wow. That's oh, cool. Yeah. Even I'm going to try it out. Okay, you can get M&M toys. Oh, it's like, honestly, what better bar? Can I get B2? Um, I put it in a Juni and I should have... No, it doesn't give back change. So push another thing. See it gave you... back my change. Oh, did it? Um, I put in a Juni and then I got the oh. thing eight. and it gave me back. A8. A8. This is where the change comes Oh. Wow, it's a work in progress, but it's super can exciting. I, can I put in your money? Is there even a What do you want? I want... There's so many things that I love here. So many things. Out of all this, can I get what B2? is your favorite? Get, I want B2 or B4. Get Gabby a B2. We're coming, Chino. We're busy with the treats. Oh, wait, I want, water. Yeah. I want... Uh, I'll take an A6. A six. six. Uh oh. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Check price. Uh, we $2. are still. $2. Oh, okay. So it tells us what what each price is. Don't We're still that. here, you guys. We're still figuring out the. Wow. Wow. And want... oh, then the pot must come down that one. Yes. That I want is cool. a no, you don't have a pop. Oh my! Because we don't drink oh, much pop. That's not gonna be fun. Oh wait, those are just the sample ones. There's ones that make it not fizzy. <laughs> yes. I thought they were just gonna fall down. <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you, machine. That was so fun. A10. No, no more. Let's go. A10. No, no. How much? So that? you push it in. A two dollars. Two dollars. We literally need a brush. In our in my purse, that's everything in my purse but a brush. And Sophie had <laughs> Sophie had a shower this morning, and then didn't, and she waits till her hair dries to brush it, and then we had to leave. So Sophie has wet head. So Gabby came in with all her tap, and she couldn't see what she's doing. She's standing on the ledge there of that door. The door was open, and right behind her was a big, huge pile of horse poop, and she couldn't see past all the tacks she was carrying. And then. I'm like watching her, watching her, watching her, because I know she's gonna step in this big pile of horse <laughs> poop. Nobody loves that, right? Well, when you're in question, you don't care. And then she steps in there and does this fancy movement where she just walks back and takes a step, and then she misses the whole poop. And I'm like, how? How do you have such a good luck with that? Like, how did she do oh, that? We're going outside. It's oh muddy. yeah, it's muddy. So sad, I wanna go out. So I took my our little ladder home. It's the only thing I can use to get on Penny and I wanna ride. I've been wanting to ride. So it got us right inside today because it's muddy, it's muddy outside because it rained all day yesterday. Gabby, you want some trap poles? You want some trap poles? I can tell Chino's like unsettled. Horses know you guys, like horses know. Oh my gosh, her brand new phone, her brand new phone, and she has cracked her camera. You can always tell when your horse is full of it and you're gonna go for a ride or when your horse is tired. And Chino is mad. He is mad that Finn has disappeared. Did you guys know that Chino and Gray Finn are really close? Like sometimes you have horses together that really get along. Sometimes you have horses together that don't really get along and he, Chin, Chino and Gray Finn are really good together, which is great because it's handy for showing. All right, so Gabby. Been the time, by the way. Gabby's been walking the whole entire time, you guys. Uh, yeah, we can't no. All right. Gabby, did you get off and get back on? You knocked down the broken standard? You said, hi, I know you carry treats. I'll be back around. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he just said to me. 
So Gabby's supposed to be doing like a lot of muscle building, which is a lot of like collected. I think that's what she's doing. Yeah, Chino's not a bolting horse. No. I know, the cat, no matter how clean you want to be when you leave the barn, you will never be with the cat around. Look at how chunky he is. Just pet me, please. He's always looking out for horses thundering hooves. You know what's so weird? Gabby's just riding around that corner. Oh, there he goes now. Just riding around this corner coming over here and a pigeon just drops out of the sky, flies right in front of Tino's face. And at the same time, Gabby was laying on his neck, just fooling around. She, she just wanted to see what he would do because he always holds her up. Like he never drops his neck, always holds her up. Whoa. And she's like that riding him, going forward, all of a sudden a pigeon run, flies right in front of his face and he didn't even flinch. flinch. Not even a flinch. But he doesn't stay on the rail. Sophia! <laughs> Sophia blew out. Todd, now we're Perfect. <laughs> Brandon's here, you better watch out. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, now watch. Every time I put the camera away, a pigeon flies up in front of him. But not when I have the camera out. All right, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. There's a pigeon. There's a pigeon. See? Nothing. Not even a flinch. He just runs pigeons over. He was a cat in his old life. Oh, and look. There's one in here, too. <laughs> There's going to be food and treats everywhere. These are cool, I want one. Brandon's been going through all of his stuff and putting it all for sale. And so I keep messaging him and saying like, There's nothing in here that's gonna be for sale. No, nothing in here that's gonna be for sale. So look it. at how gorgeous though. Like, look how gorgeous, what's in here? Well, that's when we had to take care of his abscess, but it wasn't an abscess. Oh, uh, all right. Well, oh wait, the liniment's here. You gonna spray, did you spray his legs? No. Spray his legs, sister. I sent Sophie to the car to get it. So anyways, he's been messaging, like, he's been posting all this stuff that he wants to sell. And his prices are so good. And I'm like, oh, Brandon, do you think we need this? Do you think we could buy this? Like, do you think we could use this? And he says, no, you're not buying any of it. In fact, I want you to sell half of your stuff. <laughs> In comparison, this is Sophie's. She's oh, neat too. Like, she's nice and neat. What is that? What is in this? Let's see, you guys. Let's just see. What the heck is in this bag? Oh, there's like treats in there and salt and a sponge. Hmm, interesting. So anyways, this is Sophie. She's got her brushes up there. She's got water here, her treats and her sponge and her salt lick. Uh, good luck charm in the back. Her saddle, all her saddle pads, and then her um, bucket system here, and her helmet. Like, both of the girls are relatively neat in their lockers. Gabby has it, sorry Sophie, I sent you. I sent you to go get it. And Sophie, what's supposed to be in her locker? Oh, I like this saddle, I need a new saddle for Penny. I was doing a comparison, who's the neater child? The one who has OCD. The one, okay, so they're both neat, but basically one does not have OCD. Hey. The one who needs everything to be. Yeah, and so who was I? Who did, where do they get that from? So Sophie is not OCD, but neat. Where do you get that from? Not OCD is dad. Have you seen dad's corner for yeah. his trunk? Yeah, not OCD is dad, and I used to be OCD. When I was young, like even in like a young girl, I was obsessed with like cleaning, and I was a clean freak, and then, this is like, and then I had my boys and I was still obsessed with cleaning. Like I cleaned so much. I spent so much of my life cleaning and I liked everything to look a certain way. You, a lot of you guys can relate. People who have horses, I feel like lots of times are clean freak kind of people, OCD kind of people. Cause horses really help you keep your OCD active and busy. So I raised my boys and then they grew up and I grew up so fast and I was like, wow. Even though we did a lot with our kids, I cleaned so much of their childhood. And then I was like, wow. 
And then when the girls came along, I said, I'm not gonna do that again. And it took a lot of work, a lot of like, so much work for me to let go and realize that being perfect or looking perfect is not, you. when you do that, there's a lot of yourself that you lose. It took so much for me to learn that. And so I worked on it and worked on it and worked on it until you get this imperfect mess <laughs> that you see now. And that's who I am. Like I worked hard to get there to be not perfect and to allow my kids not to be perfect and it is so freeing and so amazing and so much better than having to be perfect and having to everything having to look perfect all the time our we didn't collect eggs yesterday and each of our chickens laid two eggs because this, this is for two days so we have one gray one white it one chicken lays these eggs and then another chicken lays these eggs and then another chicken lays these eggs so we have one chicken two chicken three chicken and then one of our chickens lays one egg every two days and that's it that's the size of it and it's the same breed as the girl that breed that lays these eggs and in the camera you can't tell the difference as much but it's like a baby 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 egg don't you know that you're beautiful